everyone. Okay, so we're doing another page in our Boho Beach journal, and this thing is really filling up. Today I'm working in one of my blank pages, and I'm going to do um, a lot of some fun goodness in here. So I'm just going to kind of put some protector pages here because I'm going to get a little messy today. I, I believe, I believe, I believe. So... Let me just cover my tassels. I'm going to do some mixed media today. And I honestly don't know what the plan is yet. What I do know is that I do have um, some of these little like beach things that I want to incorporate. So I'm going to be doing the backgrounds and working with um, some paint. Uh, trying to see where my, oh, okay, there it is. I've got these art alchemy paints and I'm gonna use a combination of some different colors of blue, and I've got um, various papers here, craft papers that I'm going to use. I've got some book pages that I was cleaning my brayer on with, so I'm going to use some of that too. Um, so I think what I'm going to do first is just add some collage pages and if you guys watch my videos you know I just like to kind of rip random pieces and put them on my paper so I'm just going to get a couple there uh, here's some paper that some beach paper that I used my custom stamps on um, I'm going to use some of this. And I'm just going to, you know, select a variety. I'm not covering all the white, but I do want to get a little bit of texture in here like so before I start adding paint. And I'll add the paint on top. A little one in the corner. Okay. Let's get my glue stick. Now that one's finished. I'll be using that. Oh, all these glues. I've been doing a lot of art lately, especially with the holidays coming up. So I feel like a lot of my supplies are getting low. Now you can use any papers that you have lying around, even, you know, a great thing to be using as well, and I haven't done it yet, is um, newspapers and, you know, the ads, paper ads, because once you get your paint on top of the layers, you're not going to see all the gibberish underneath, you will just you know, get a lot of texture from it. So, um, but here with this one, we are doing, you know, working on our boho beach theme. So I am, I do have a lot of beach inspired craft papers and papers that I've prepared with various um, ocean and beach inspired colors on it. And also using my custom stamps which I love using 
I've done several videos and I've got one coming up, I think. Um, oh, you guys have probably seen it, the feather stamp. But whatever theme that you're working on, you can just, if you want, incorporate some images. Whatever images you like. This one, of course, we're using, you know, beach-inspired images, seashells, palm fronds. There's also some beach wording. I've got, this um, journal has gotten so thick because of all the stuff that I've already put into the journal. I think next time I'm going to have to leave this, all the yummy um, embellishment tutorials for, for the end because it makes it so challenging now to, to get the journaling done in it. So I've left some white areas. So it goes with the theme too. And I've got all my little variety of art alchemy paints here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, it's allergy season, so I apologize. So, as I was mentioning, I picked up, I don't know if you guys were on my, <laughs> pardon me, <laughs> oh, I apologize. So, I don't know if you guys had checked out my Facebook page, I had done a post the other day, I picked up these amazing art alchemy paints on clearance at Michael's, and so I'm using a series of them today. And just there are a variety of metallics, um, spark, which are sparkly, and then I've got some opals as well. And they have really cool names. This one's Mermaid Sparkle. I've got Magical Pond and Light Patina. So you don't have to use these paints. It's just what I'm going to be using today. And um, you can select, you know, a variety of whatever you want. I'm also, I'm just using this tissue paper that I'm going to put down because I like the texture of it. Um, so I want to put a little bit of that down, not tissue, it's, uh, what is it, paper towel. I like the texture in it, so I'm going to add a little bit of that. Just with my glue stick, and it's going to absorb the paint um, differently too. It'll be really neat to see. So you can really, when you're collaging, just think about different textural papers. And I also have some fabric and some um, burlap that I'm going to use today as well. But I'm just going to I'm going to put that layer on a little bit later. But this is going to be a nice little added touch here. Put some here in the middle. I can't believe that I'm almost done this Boho Beach journal already. Soon it'll be time to start the next theme, which I will be announcing right after or probably just before I do the reveal on this one. Okay. So I've got 
those papers down. I'll add this after. So I'm going to start off applying some paint. And now when I do this, I literally just like to use my finger when I'm working in my art journal. You can use a brush if you like, or you can use um, a sponge, you know, whatever method you like. And I'm just going to start kind of rubbing it in. And what I like about these paints is they're um, translucent. So you're still going to see, you know, these designs from your paper underneath. Now I'm not going to cover all the areas. I'm just selecting various pieces. I think I'm going to get a little bit of green too to incorporate into this just to get a little more um, contrast. So it's not a monochromatic theme. Okay, this one's lime peel. So it's pretty bright. I'm going to use this very conservatively at first, just until I get a feel. Just using this green sparingly because it is quite bright and it's pretty but it just isn't the focus that I want on this particular one okay let's see this mermaid sparkle I think yeah it looks really good over that green it really reminds you of that kind of mermaid feel And I like how this paper that has um, the seashells on it, it has like a wood texture in the background, which is really nice. It's got that kind of like beach hut vibe going on. And you know, don't be afraid to um, add other color paints on top of what you already have. That's what I'm doing just to kind of tone down this green color. See how nice the texture on this paper towel is? You see the design underneath. So just keep adding your paint, building it up however much you want. Okay. 
going to take a little break here because I want to add a little more collaging pages. And that's what I like to do when I collage is just build up, build up, build up. So I'm going to add a couple pages of some old book that I've done some jelly printing on and just kind of clean my briar off of. So it's got text in it and um, some paint in the blue tones. Add a little bit of this. And I've got one here that has some thicker paint on it that I'm going to add. I don't put a lot of thought into where I'm putting my collage pieces because I find um, you can really overthink it because I like to treat it as texture on my paper and not part of my composition as whole because I'm working with paints and other um, pieces that I'm going to be putting on top so you can build it and build it and you know, just work a lot more free. And it's one of the things that I do that um, I am a little more free with because a lot of my art is very conceptual and planned out. So this is where I can really have fun and let go. I always try to just think of this as, you know, backgrounds, foregrounds, layering things up, and because it's really going to change and develop as I start building up the pages. One thing I do want to keep in mind is I do want to keep, you know, I want to keep the little shells showing and some of these fronds. So I'm not going to go heavy on paint in those areas. Um, just checking out a couple of my golds here. Okay, so I've got like a patina. I, I'm not going to use the dragon's eye. That's a little too goldy goldy but there is one here that's like a lot like a champagne gold that I'm going to add in some areas because I like the kind of the sandy tone of it and it's still got some of that glitter Okay, so I've got a little bit of bubble wrap here, and there is some old paint on it, so I'm really winging it. If some of this pink comes off, hey, that's okay. I am getting, starting to get really messy here. So I'm 
going to add some of this down, some texture over the whole thing. I'm going to add a lot of texture. And then I might just wash it up along the edges. Don't be afraid to get in there with your fingers and just get all smooshy and washy. Get some inspiration behind it. Like think of some old washed out decks on a little beach house. I grew up with on a house on a lake and things got old and weathered and that's always kind of my inspiration when I'm doing beach themes. So this is starting to look really good. And you can go over and get, you know, some of the dots and stuff over um, areas that you kind of get washy. But look at how nice that's getting looking, you guys. Okay, so my background's coming along great. I want to use these quotes today, but they're a little too beautiful and crisp. And I also wanted to incorporate some of my fabrics. And some, um, uh, what's this called? I want to say jute, but it's not burlap whenever I'm doing um, beach decor I'm always incorporating burlap I love burlap I think it just everything about it reminds me of the beach it's got some you know rustic pieces to it and I'm going to, now there's a couple ways that you can get this down and I'm just kind of, kind of planning out where I want it. Um, you can use a gel medium, you can use Mod Podge, um, which is what I'm going to use. If I can find my Mod Podge. Come on Mod Podge. There's my Mod Podge and this is going to add a really nice touch but I think I'm going to actually have it going over one of my pieces over here so before I get that down let's um let's just stress this up a little bit and what I'm going to do is kind of use the same collaging technique that I did in the background so I'm gonna add random pieces of paper to the quote making sure that you know the quote isn't hidden but and it doesn't matter if there's pieces off we can always just tear them off after but this is a nice way to um, just kind of get that background moving into this foreground piece, which is what this is going to be. And we do have some really cute shells over here, but I'm going to cover one of them up just like so. Okay. And then on this one, let's get a little piece of this paper just kind of going across so I still see the coral because I do like that coral there but I'm adding some background elements uh, let's see a little bit up here like I mentioned we can you know trim that off or leave it on if we like 
Another nice thing to do is we can just kind of tear some of the edges so it's not all prim and proper. And then we can work with that as well. So I'll do that on this one so I could show you some different techniques. And the other thing is I am not going to be centering this. I want to kind of, there's some elements here that I want to keep like this seashell and this leaf up here. So I'm, I'm going to end up placing this near the bottom. So I really want to kind of grunge this up a bit and I'll use my Mermaid Sparkle to do that. Just get some of that color blended into here so it's, you know, just a little subtle and not so perfect like I just cut this out and stuck it on because that is just not the look that I'm going for. Just make sure you're using a translucent paint when you're going over the letters here so you're not hiding, you know, your little statement that you want. Oh, I'm going to add a little bit on this one too. Such pretty colors. I love blues, you guys. It's like one of my favorite color palettes. I'm always working with blues. paint on there and then if you have a little bit of paint left on your polka dots you know try and get a little bit of that texture on there as well just to you know break up what you've got there don't worry if you're going over patterns and stuff like that but look at that it just really makes a difference okay and smudge it in a bit and don't worry if it gets a little you know worn out here we're going to go over this with some marker just to kind of make it pop so don't be shy with the texture that one's going to go underneath okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear off the excess looking at it from the back you don't have to you know tear it off to make it square but I just I wanted that kind of gone there okay so that's gonna go over top and you see how it's all blended in the background and what we're gonna do is we're really gonna make this punch out and I'm gonna have some of this burlap over it this one I'm gonna put down here and I was gonna stick this mandala in there somehow but I don't know that I'm going to do that on this one. I think I'll save it for another day. So um, one more thing that I think I will do is do a little bit of a shadow effect here. And I've got this antique wax. It's kind of a blue but brass. It's that same um, art alchemy line. And I'm just going to do the edges because and bring it in a little bit. I do want it to stand out a bit separately from the background, but only in some areas. So in the end, it'll look like maybe some of these areas are kind of uh, part of the background, you know, covered by part of the background in the sea and it's like a page buried in the sand at the bottom of the ocean. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just going to like do this side. And if you want it more blended in, you can just blend it in. This way, when I put it over top, you know, it's not popping out up here, but you can tell that there's some pages, um, like a piece of paper, old paper underneath. And you can just add as much or little as you want. Uh, this one, I'll just do this side. It kind of gives a little bit of that shadow effect. Makes it pop off the page. Okay, put as little as much as you want. If you don't have this, because not everybody's going to have it, get your inks out. Use a little bit of um, Distress ink, and uh, that will work just as fine. So I'm going to glue this piece down now. really bumpy underneath <laughs> so I'm trying to get this down as flat as possible okay and this one is gonna just kind of be off this way okay get some glue on here just so bumpy underneath with all the yummy goodness that I put make sure that's secure and before I put that on a couple things I'm going to do I'm going to make the wording pop out but I'm also going to go in and I want to distress this um, just a little bit here the burlap just so it doesn't look clean and perfect and I'm just gonna rub a little bit of like off white paint not all over but just in a couple areas here okay that's better it adds a little bit more excitement all right, perfect. Okay, now to figure out what kind of pen. I'm just gonna get my little gel pen out here for this guy, which is, let's see, is it gonna work? No, I've got that wax on there, so I have to really make sure I use something. I gotta use my oil pen here. That's not the one I want. I need a thinner one. My stuff is all over the place. Let's see. Okay, I'll use this one. It is breaking down a bit, but I think I could get enough out of it. And I'm just not doing the whole thing. I'm just kind of doing pieces of it because I don't want it to look perfect but I do want the wording just to stand out a little bit more than what it is. And I'm going to go back in and add a little bit of white gel ink to it too. 
So just breaking it up a bit in areas. So it is popping out a little bit more. But still not perfect. I'll see if this bronze one works on. Yeah, this one's working good. So I'm using this bronze gel pen on this one over here. So I don't want to use black. It is kind of like a beige color right now so it's just helping it pop out a bit enjoy the little and i'm not being really particular i'm kind of being really sketchy with it Enjoy the little things. Get my white one here. And do a little bit white on the sky. To help it pop a little more in a not so perfect way. I always have a variety of gel pens and inks when I'm doing my art journal so that I can make sure you know I get the right textures. Okay, so let's get this down. It's kind of going to be my last little I don't want it covering the words so I'm just going to pull a couple of these pieces out that's why I like this burlap too as you can really play with the pieces that are in it there it's looking all nice and rustic okay I'm getting super, um, get my hands dirty today, guys. Just going in with the hands. <laughs> no need for tools when you've got some that are attached to your body, right? Now, I usually go over my Mod Podge another layer, but I'm not going to go over everything because I don't want this flat. I want pieces sticking out, so I'm just going to go in and kind of dab areas so I know that it's going to stay secure. But at the same time, it'll be a little more, you know, free in some areas here. There we go. Okay. And then what I'm going to do on this side is some of these loose strings. I do kind of look like to use all the goodies that I have. I am literally just going to kind of clump them together and roll them down in this glue and let them lay on my art journal in various ways, just randomly for an added little element. OK. 
Come on. Can't play too much in this. It'll start sticking your fingers and there. Okay. Now I still have, and I showed you, I used these in some of my other videos, the sand dollars that I made. We did a tutorial on um, the salt dough sand dollars and shells. So I think I'm just going to stick a couple on this page, just the seashells. And I'm going to use my tacky glue for this. It's a nice little element. So if you want, just go back and grab that um, tutorial on how to do these salt dough sand dollars and shells. And you could plunk them in your journals. They add a really nice unique element and they're super easy to do and cheap to make and I'm sure you can do all kinds of things using the recipe that I include and let me get this out I've got so much junk on my table here and I'll turn it around so you guys can take a peek at what I created Today, try to get all this stuff out of the way for you guys. And there is another page in our Boho Beach art journal using collage techniques and a variety of textures, and then embellishing using some of those salt dough um, dollars. And then this, you know, just keep in mind when you've got those little tags. Uh, with nice things that you want to incorporate into your, your art journal. I mean, they look like this. You know, they're all nice and pretty. Just use some of that collaging technique to, um, you know, change these up and make them a lot more like part of your journal by incorporating the backgrounds and the textures and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed today's journal with me. Um, we've only got a couple pages left in this Boho Beach art journal. So stay tuned. Join me next week so you can see what's coming up. All right. Thanks, guys.